right, we're now going to talk about finding roots. And this is an adjustment of, or it, um, it comes from using Demov's theorems. But now we're finding the roots instead of raising um, to larger powers, we're finding roots. Okay, so it says for any zero, excuse me, non zero complex number where our number is r cosine theta plus i sine theta and the positive integer n. The n distinct nth roots are as follows. Let me move my screen down just a little so you can see the bottom there. Okay, you take the number in front to the 1 over n power, that's the root. Okay, the cosine of your angle plus 360k divided by n. Now 360k, k is which, which root you're working on basically. Um, if you're finding fourth roots, you will have four. If you're finding third roots, you'll have three. But notice we start with k being zero when we find our first root. And then we go to k being one and k being two. n does not change. Okay, once you've started your problem, n is going to be the same. For this example, we're finding fourth roots. So here we will have a four and our n here and here will be four but the k will change depending on which root you're finding. Since we're finding fourth roots, we will have four roots. Okay, so I'm going to find four roots, root number one, number two, number three, and number four. Now for each of those, you start with k being zero. So I'm gonna start as k being zero. And my next one, k would be one. Next one, k would be two and my fourth one k would be three. So even though there's four roots, I only go to k being three because I started at zero, okay? And we just use the formula that they gave us. So it says you take r to the one over n. Again, we're finding fourth roots. Our r is this number in front here. So we're taking three to the one fourth power, okay? Then inside here, we do the cosine of our original angle theta plus 360 times k, where our, our angle was 40 plus 360 times our k for this first one is zero, and we divide by four. We get the same thing with our sine, okay? The sine is going to end up with exactly the same angle because you do the same thing, 40 plus 360 times zero over four. All right. So we go with 3 to the 1 4th power. Which rather than calculating it out, we're just going to write it in radical form. When you have roots, you put the little 4 out here because we're taking a 4th root of the number 3. Inside we have cosine of 40 plus 360 times 0 over 4. Well, 360 times 0 is 0. So we have 40 divided by 4, basically, which is 10 degrees. Plus, and our sine will have the same angle. So I sine 10 degrees. Here is our first root. And now we go to find the second one. So it's very similar. The number in front doesn't change. We're still going to have 3 to the 1 fourth power. What does change is our angle. So this time we have 40 plus 360 times 1 still divided by four. And then we have I sine of that exact same thing, 40, our original angle, 360 times one this time, divided by four. Okay, so on the front there, we still have the fourth root of three. Inside, we have cosine of what angle? So take 360 times one, add 40, gives us 400, divide by four we get a 100 degree angle plus I sine of the same angle. All right, next we're using K equals two. So still we have three to the one fourth power, but when we do our angle here, this time we have 40 plus 360 times two over four. Okay, so we just follow the pattern. Um, you may notice a pattern that each time we're adding 
basically another 360 divided by 4 each time is what happens. So any patterns you spot that are valid are okay. Um, I'm just going to do the whole thing out the way it's written. <laughs> so we do 360 times 2 plus 40 divided by 4. And this time we get 190 plus I sign 190. Okay, so hopefully you're noticing this number here I'm getting from right here. 360 times 2 plus 40 divided by 4. And let's find our final root. So we have 3 to the 1 fourth power. Cosine of, this time it's 40 plus 360 times 3 divided by 4. Plus I sine 40 plus 360 times 3 divided by 4. Again, our number on the front is the same. It's the fourth root of 3. But inside here, our angle is going to change. So we have 360 times 3 is 1080 plus 40. And then you divide by 4. And we get 280 degrees. Okay, so not a lot of work here, but a lot of writing. All right. So those are the four fourth roots of 3 cosine 40 plus I sine 40. All right, next, what are the three cube roots of this number? Okay, so remember a cube root is the one third power. So this time in our formula here, our n's will all be threes. Okay, it's a cube root. So there will be three of them. So here's my first, I'll do my first root here, my second root here, and my third root here. Now remember our k, our first k, we start with zero. Our second one is k is one, and our third one k would be two. We take the number in front, raise it to the power, the one third power, since we're doing cube roots. So we have six to the one third power times cosine of, now let's get to work here, our angle was 60 degrees plus 360 times k, which for this first one is 0, divided by 3 this time, because we're doing third roots, and then the same for our sine, i sine of 60 plus 360 times 0 over 3. Okay. Our 6 to the 1 third power, we're just going to write out as a root. So again, this one would have a third root of 6 here. And then we have times the cosine of, what's our angle going to be? Well, 360 times 0 is 0, plus 60 is 60, and 60 divided by 3 is 20 degrees, plus I sine of 20 degrees. Here we have, again, 6 to the 1 third cosine of, this time it's 60 plus 360 times 1. And I hopefully you're getting the drift of this. It kind of seems pretty monotonous, um, but I'm glad we have DeMov's theorem that helps us out with this. If we didn't, this would be a much more difficult process. Okay, so again we have the third root of 6 on the front here, and for our angle we have 60 plus 360. divided by 3. Okay, so that gave me 420. Divided by 3 was 140 degrees plus I sine 140 degrees. And I'm getting closer. There's my first root and my second root. Now we just need to find our third root. So again we have 6 to the 1 third power cosine of whew, 60 plus 360 times 2 this time over 3 plus I sine 60 plus 360 times 2 divided by 3. We write the third root of 6 the way we write that and then we have cosine of 360 times 2 is 720. Okay, so we're just following here. Plus 60 is 780 and divide it by 3. And we get a 260 degree angle. 
and the angle for cos, for sine and cosine, are always going to be the same here. So there we did it. We found the three cube roots of 6 cosine 60 plus i sine 60.